Welcome, Welcome to Stutter Pop TV. We're we your are hosts, NJW. And I'm NSW. And we're here back with another episode of Am I the A Ho? Alrighty. So today's episode is going to be Am I the A Ho for cutting ties with my father because of his new relationship? Okay. okay. Ooh, spicy. Okay. So my 28 female father. What? I'm. She's 28. My bad. <laughs> Alright, keep going. That's my 28 female. Father, 52 male, has been out of my life by my own choice for the past two years. For context, my parents went through a messy divorce approximately four years ago. When I was younger, my dad was a loving father who supported my interest in livestock and farming, helping me complete in 4-H and buying me plenty of animals to raise with his help. We had a very close relationship until I reached middle school when he took a new job. We moved back to our hometown and everything went downhill. He hated his job, resented my mother because he blamed her for their move. It was definitely a mutual decision and grew angry and narcissistic. He drank more heavily, flirted shamelessly with young waitresses, and eventually told my mother that he didn't love her, but that he was willing to live like this in order to avoid a divorce. My mother, deciding lifelong unhappiness just wasn't appealing, began divorce proceedings. I can't pretend to know everything that went on in their relationship as I was just a kid for most of it, and I am sure each side is biased. However, I have been unable to avoid choosing sides and certainly sympathize more with my mother. My father has hated this from the start, understandably, and has tried convincing me several times that my mother was a B-I-T-C-H who held him back, spent his money, and is now turning his children against him. I try to avoid the conversation entirely and talk only about neutral subject, subjects, such as our shared interests in our culture, science, and stories from my childhood. That has not worked thus far, and he even seems to enjoy riling me up. I worked for a time as a researcher on COVID-19 back at the start of a pandemic, <clears throat> excuse me, and my father actively argued with me about my research despite having no knowledge on the topic because he believed the pandemic was a hoax. We also have vastly different po political learnings and he constantly tried to argue with me about my convictions. Whenever I would ask that we would stop discussing things that would only make us argue and would do no good convincing us another one of the other's point of view, he accused me of being immature and not being able to handle a friendly debate. Okay. So well, let's start there. She already chose what side she was going Already, to yeah. So it, so it don't matter if he was wrong yeah, or whatever the yeah. case may be. And then, and then he, he still has her around. Yeah. They, even though, uh, and for them to have this debate. And then in the beginning, in the beginning, she told us all of the ways that her dad like started being like a. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you didn't already put us on. He's the bad guy. Yeah, but she you know also he also told his wife, "I'm not in love with you anymore." No more. Yeah. So it's not like you know. If she once he told her that, then she started the procedure, the, the procedure to, to have the divorce. divorce right. He didn't. Right, true. So he didn't necessarily break up the home. Yeah, okay. and then and then she looking at it on one one side. She's she not is. looking at it on both. Did she ever ask her daddy why he fall out of love with his with, with their with mother? The, what, he never did ask that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's go. Okay, <clears throat> all of this is to explain the already catastrophic relationship we had before he started dating his current girlfriend, twenty female of two years. Yes, that means she was 18 years old when they began dating when my father was 50. I found oh, out <laughs> I found out about through I found out about it through my youngest brother, 17 female who still lives at home with my mother and was immediately disgusted. For half a year, I mostly ignored my father until eventually I felt I needed to stay say my piece. I told him I thought his relationship with someone 30 years younger than him and 8 years younger than his daughter was entirely disgusting. He told me that I was being a hypocrite and that his age gap was no more problematic than dating than dating him than dating him and dating a man. He is anti LGBTQ and I have been an ally since I have been able to form my own opinions. He accused me of being hateful towards a woman he has never met, even after I tried explaining that I have no personal problem with his girlfriend, only him. The conversation ended <clears throat> and me explaining I did not feel comfortable continuing our relationship while he dated someone so young and I did not speak to him for months. And then I got pregnant. 
Now my husband and I have a baby, five month female, and my father wants to see her. I feel like a major a-hole for wanting to keep my daughter from her grandfather, but I do not want her to grow up and look back on the situation thinking I was a-okay with my father's relationship. My husband, 28 male, is supportive of whether I want of whatever I want to do at this point. He asked if I could feel more comfortable if my father married the girl. No. If I would feel more comfortable if he just insisted on the girl not ever being around for visits. No. Or if we should allow him <clears throat> to see our daughter when we visit our grandparents on his side of the family. The last point I'm uncertain about in such an event is upcoming where my father has asked to see us when I had intended only on visiting my grandparents. I know she is technically an adult, but I think my father is grooming this woman. He has money and shows and showers her with gifts and moved her into his home almost as soon as they started dating. She was kicked out of her own home. I think that what he is doing is predatory, and if she is using him for his money, I hope she takes him for all he has got. I <clears throat> wonder if they dated before she turned 18 and just kept it a secret. I certainly wouldn't put it past him. I don't want that around my daughter, but am I overreacting? So why is her opinion of her daddy so negative? It's, it just sounds like the the mom and the dad got had it was a bad divorce or something. You know what I mean, like a bad marriage. But bad she divorce. was too young to even know it was right. A bad but divorce. what I'm saying is, it seems like it was a bad. You know what I mean? And she has a bitter mom who speaks negatively about the dad. Oh, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. now she just grew up like Ugh, yeah. automatically. So now because everything that she, everything he does, even if it was just a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because even, that, even the husband like, asks if he mm -hmm. married her, would it make a difference? You're like, she no. Know. Yeah. Yeah. So she or if just, he said, "If can he come see the baby without his girlfriend being there?" and she still said no. So what? It's you have a problem with your dad. It isn't about the girlfriend. Yeah. It isn't about the any. Of, yeah. It's yeah, none no, of no. that. You have a problem with your father. So if you wanted to cut him off, cut him off. But don't make it about the fact that he's dating a twenty-year-old. Yeah, and I'm, I'm proud of the man. Being You're able to, annoying. To catch one that 20 years Not ago. catch one. <laughs> <laughs> now, as a daughter. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, as a daughter, would I feel some type of way, Dad, if it, you were dating somebody that was younger than me? Yeah, but yes. she's not your friend. If she was your friend, then it would be a difference. Right, absolutely. It would, it would be a difference. But would I still feel some type of way? Why? But, Daddy, that's weird. Why is it? That's it, weird. You, you got you to... Gotta, uh, no, that is weird. Your like, daddy still got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. No. Okay. And y'all catch us so, on another episode. Okay, no, hold on. So, no, no, we're not cutting it off yet. So, how would I feel? If you, if you were dealing with a man my age you would have every right to feel some type of way no I would have every right to do something to him why see there but why, there. No, oh, no, no, no no because why would you I didn't say I was going to do nothing to your girlfriend you I just to. said that you I would feel some type of way that's like me saying I would beat her up I wouldn't okay but feeling some type of way is not going to cut me off Exactly. Okay, I didn't so say she, that I was she cut cuts her off. daddy all the way completely. Oh. Right, so she's wrong for that. Yes, that's what makes her the butthole. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us on this episode. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> <laughs>